Dan, one month in, one and a bit months in, you don't look like you're too exhausted, so it must be all right. But it looks like it's been a pretty tough introduction to Leicester Tigers. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's been it's been very very tough, I guess. Um, first few weeks getting hard yards in, but um, now there's a ball back in hand. It's getting a bit a uh, bit easier, I guess. So there's a pretty noticeable thing here, mate. You came in as an Ireland under twenties player, but you don't sound like an Ireland under twenties player. Oh no, I don't. So do you want to talk <laughs> me through this because you're going to confuse some people out there? Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> so obviously I, I, I went to uni last year. Um, played played at Loughborough. Played in the um, the, the book Super Rugby. Played in National Two. Um, and yeah, just um, got got a bit of form going and. Uh, yeah, just just got the call call from Ireland sort of thing. Can can you come over for a camp sort of thing? And then, yeah, it went well over there. And then, a couple couple of games for Ireland. So yeah, it's been all right. It's been it's been good. And what's the link with Ireland? Because obviously the accent is somewhat George Fordian. <laughs> yes, yeah. So uh, the link is my granddad. My granddad was born in North Dublin. So 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 that's where my uh, my Irish blood comes from, I guess. And what's your rugby upbringing up in the north? Uh, so rugby upbringing is obviously. I played a lot of league when I was a kid, so um, up, up, up in Halifax at uh, Siddle Rugby League, I played there, Oldham St Anne's, I played there for a bit, and then just at my local, playing Union and um, at Kirk and Grammar, um, that's when I started going more the Union way, I guess, when I was about 16 on, so yeah. What was it about Union? Because you wouldn't be um, blamed for going to rugby league up in the north. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, but um, I, th- I think I, it just suited me a bit more, I, uh, I, I preferred the game how it was run and um, so it's, it's a bit more tactical and I, I like that sort of, sort of part of it so yeah I think I uh, gravitated to more the, the union, union side So talk me through the opportunity came at Tigers you had a conversation I believe with Jordan Murphy didn't you? Yeah yeah so um, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd a co- have a conversation with Jordan and um, I just, just said look he just said keep, keep going well keep an eye on you sort of thing and then uh, Six Nations came and I had uh, played a couple of games and then I came down to uh, Over Park I had a look I loved it and it had, uh, yeah I, I, I could have saw myself being there so yeah I guess I'm here now obviously a, a midfielder if that's what we can call you yeah. centre um, yeah. some opportunities have probably popped up that didn't exist so to speak when you first arrived not that yeah, we're looking yeah. backwards but yeah. you've you've still got some heavy competition guys like Matt Scott and obviously Mateus is coming in Yeah, yeah. but when you look in the midfield now it, do you see yourself breaking through this year, or what's the goal? Well, yeah, I, I suppose you, you, you've got that is your goal, isn't it, to break into the first team, I guess, and as, as quickly as I can do that is, is the better. So, yeah, like I say, there's some there's some talent out there in the midfield, and um, they they put the pushing every day, and um, the likes of Yako, Matt Scott, and obviously Mateus coming in, they've 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 took me under the wing, sort of thing. So, yeah, I think just if, if I do get the opportunity, just make sure I'm ready, sort of thing. So, yeah, I, I definitely say. I want to be knocking on the door. What have you taken from those guys? What have you learned? Um, I, th- I think just the, the sort of the tactical side is in. You can see the, the experience coming through with them, and just how how composed they are in situations, and how like calm they are and stuff. And uh, so, I, so I think that side of my, my game has definitely uh, definitely improved, being in sort of the, the environment I've been in with the talent around. So yeah, that side. Steve Borthwick, Rob Taylor, Alad Walters, obviously Mike, Brett, Boris, and Geordie. What have you taken from that new look coaching team? Obviously, they're not necessarily new look to you in terms of previous coachings, yeah, but yeah. what have you seen? I, th- I think it's just it's just a level up as, as as I keep going, I guess, and and the expectations they have and the, and the standards you, you you need to turn up every day. And I think I, th- I think one thing is is what they expect off the part, not just on it, as in you're learning away from, away from the club and I think that's that's the, the massive difference as in the the hours you to pin it at home, making sure you're learning at home so you come in next day and you, you're uh, hitting the ground running I guess. So yeah, the, that, that side's been great. As a player, what can fans look forward to with your style and your approach to the game? Um, I think I, I like to play attacking rugby but again I like to um, I like, I like I like to pride myself on defence as well, so um, bringing excitement from that sort of thing. Is, is, yeah, so, so being aggressive in in defence, and then obviously um, ch- ch- trying to be a, ch- try, try and score some tries as well. So yeah, I guess that, that sort of thing. George Ford seems to be someone you've gravitated towards. He's taken you under his wing a little bit as well. What's that been like for you? Yeah, it's it's, it's been really good, obviously. 
um, what he's already achieved in his career and obviously him, him starting so young so, so he knows what I, I, I sort of need as a, as a young lad so and, and and anything I need he's, um, he's, he's always there he's always looking out for me, making sure I'm, um, I'm, I'm always getting the best out of myself so yeah he's, he's, he's been there he's been great have you seen him smile yet? <laughs> yeah yeah I have as, 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 sure? As, yeah, as, as, yeah. As, as long as you train well then yeah you do get he smiles. You, you do get a wry smile out of him <laughs> He's quite a dull bloke. <laughs> you don't know what to say. He's quite a dull bloke. Oh, God, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Cheers, mate.